Squid Game creator Hu Wang Dong Hyuk, 50, has teased what the yet unordered second season of the Netflix show could entail. Speaking to The Times, the man behind the wildly popular series, which has taken the globe by storm since its release on the streaming service last month, said the next season's storyline could center around the enigmatic frontman in Ho. The frontman, played by Lee Byung-hun, is the show's lead antagonist, playing the masked presence behind the sick games and overseeing the contestants and VIP guests, with Hu Wang now revealing the future of the show could follow his story. Squid Game, named after a traditional Korean kids game, is a nine-episode series following 456 struggling citizens competing in deadly children's games with the sights to win a prize fund of 45. 6 billion won, 28 million pounds. Since its release last month, the show is pegged to be Netflix's biggest hit to date, leading to discussion over when there will be a season 2 and what a follow-up would entail given the frayed ending to the first series. Hu Wang said, While I was writing season 1, I thought about the stories that could be in season 2 if I get to do one, one would be the story of the front man. I think the issue with police officers is not just an issue in Korea. I see it on the global news that the police force can be very late on acting on things. There are more victims or a situation gets worse because of them not acting fast enough. This was an issue that I wanted to raise. Maybe in season 2 I can talk about this more. While season 2 certainly looks to be in the works, fans have been shocked to learn that the show is yet unordered, leaving bated breath all around. Netflix global TV head Bela Bajoria insisted the show's future is based on Huang's schedule, telling Vulture, we're trying to figure out the right structure for him. His chat comes after Netflix bosses came under fire for poorly translating the hit South Korean horror, thus changing the meaning of many scenes. Comedian Young Mi Meyer took to Twitter last week to flag issues she found with the English on the show, leading to an influx of agreement from disgruntled viewers who allege the translations are insulting and needlessly condensed storylines. In a lengthy prose alongside the instructive scene-by-scene -scene video, she penned, translation was so bad. The dialogue was written so well and zero of it was preserved. Such a shame. Translation is extremely important. Other viewers pointed out that there is glaring differences between the English, closed captioning, and the English, so warned viewers to chose carefully to ensure the translations were as accurate as possible amid the criticism.